Time for question one. $215,000 on the line tonight. Let's get quizzy. Question one. By definition, which of these living abodes is usually the smallest? McMansion, one bedroom, or studio? Smallest. Okay, if you live in a big city like New York, you may reside in what we refer to as a shoebox, which loosely translates to a studio. That's right. Studio. Who's living up? 176,000. You guys are moving on. You know, you're breaking out of that studio into a 10 bedroom if you win tonight, huh? My friend just moved into a studio. He goes, you want a, a tour of the place? What? Hey, so this is the it. This is everything. All right, here we are. Congrats to those who got question one. The questions start off easy. They get harder. Don't get knocked out on a tough question without an extra life. You hear me? All right. You can use up to three extra lives in tonight's game. You can get some right now if you see them on your screen. You can also buy extra lives throughout the game by tapping on that heart icon below. Don't forget that you cannot use an extra life on a prize question or after question 12. Store that up here. We're moving on to question two. $215,000 tonight. Okay. An old-fashioned is usually served with a twist of what fruit? Lime, orange, or kiwi? Drink it up. A lot of money to be drank up tonight. The bourbon-based drink has come back. It's very popular in recent years. Uh, so everyone knows that to keep it classy, you got to add a slice of orange peel. Over 146,000 drank up the correct answer. That's right, the old fashioned. The old, why did people talk like this back then? Anyone know, huh? What comes up may never come down. If she comes around, I do country, she's upstairs, you know, here she comes over, you know what I'm saying? You see? You see? Always asking, you see? You see? We're moving on to question three. Okay. Jacques Costu famously wore what kind of hat? A blue fedora, a white cowboy hat, or a red beanie? Jack Cousteau famously wore what kind of hat? It was homaged that a life aquatic with Steve Zissou, and to keep his little noggin warm at sea, Jack wore a little red beanie. That's right, a little red beanie to keep warm. Red beanie, over one, 125,409. You're keeping warm. Moving on to question four. That's right, don't get knocked out without an extra life. So buy one of those right now if you need them. Who else wore the red hat in that movie? Owen Wilson. Whew. Wow, here we are. Moving on to question four already. We're blowing through this. Question four. Which of these is one of the seven deadly sins? Wrath, guilt, or resentment? Deadly sins. All righty. How well do you remember the movie Seven? There was greed, gluttony, pride, lust, envy, sloth, and wrath. That's right. The Wrath Within, over 131,000 feeling that wrath. Moving on to question five. All right, it's time we had another sin, right? I think we need another one. How about uh, no holding hands on the sidewalk, all right? It's not enough room. Here we are. Question numero five. The Triceratops is the official dinosaur of the state with what capital? Cheyenne, Oklahoma City, or Austin? Right after Jurassic Park came out, Wyoming was like, hey, we want a piece of that action and claimed the Triceratops as the official state dino, their capital being Cheyenne. That's right. 90,937 fighting on Cheyenne. Right. Anyone from Wyoming? Tell us in the chat. We'll shout out. Hey. Hi, Wyoming. Hello. Here we are moving on to question six. Which of these animals shares two collective nouns with ants? Bats, hyenas, or frogs? Two collective nouns with ants. Who doesn't love collective nouns, right? Huh? A gaggle of geese, a murder of crows, and groupings of bats, frogs, and ants can all be called colonies. But a group of frogs is also an army as a group of ants. That's right. Frogs it is. 40,000 got it right. That's a savage man. Look at that. 
We lost a big chunk, guys. Sorry to see you go, but you can buy back in with an extra life. Stick in here. It's 250000 It's an easy decision. Let me collect myself. We're moving on. Question seven. The original Apple Watch did not have which feature? Rose gold option, heart rate monitor, or GPS? The original Apple Watch did not have which feature? Fitness buffs were psyched for the Apple Watch until they learned there is no GPS. What? 57,000 got it correct. We have another savage. We lost a huge chunk of y'all. Man. Sorry to see you go, but you can buy back in right now. If you want a chance, that $215,000. I'm counting my steps right now. Here we go. Get that heart rate up. Moving on to question eight. Which book's author said she didn't think Jane Austen would mind plot stealing because she's dead? Mr. Darcy's Diary, Jane of Austen, or Bridget Jones' Diary? Which one? She is a very funny writer and displays her British wit whenever someone brings up her nicking the plot of Pride and Prejudice. It's Helen Feeling who wrote Bridget Jones' Diary, signing off on 67,000. All right. I do the same thing with Jim Carrey because, right, I take all his jokes because he's still alive. Okay. All righty then. Here we are. Named Kale, Bucky. Question 12, if you want to play an elf before I play the jockey. you got to play small before you play small. Moving on to question 10. What author tweeted about Millie Bobby Brown before she was cast on her hit show? Gillian Flynn, Neil Gaiman, or Stephen King? Who tweeted it? Who tweeted Who done it? He tweeted about Millie Brom, uh, Bobby Brown before she was even 11. The man can spot talent from a mile away. I'm talking about Stephen King, baby. Show me the money. 49,000 King fans are moving on to question 11. You can spot this money from a mile away. And question 11, if you answer correct, you will have the chance at taking some money and running or sticking around for $215,000. Here we go. Focus. Question 11. The main Nike campus's cafeteria is housed in a building named for a star in what sport? Basketball, soccer, or football? Nike cafeteria. Which one? The Nike campus in Beaverton. Beaverton is a bunch of buildings named for sports celebs, including Mia Hamm Building, which has the healthy cafeteria. She's a football player, but not the American football. I'm talking about soccer. Over 25,000 kicking that goal. I'm going to call out another savage. We lost a big chunk there. All right. Don't forget, you can buy an extra life right now if you want to stick around. Stick around. Stay with us. We are offering $0.08 cents to 25,674 players. Four questions until the prize. Are you going to take that $0.08? Cents? Are you going to stick around? You trust your brain? What did you guys decide to do? Let's take a look. Uh, 10,188 players chose to take that eight cents. Congratulations. Take it and run. Enjoy your weekend. All right. This is it. Question 12. Last chance to use those extra lives. Extra lives will not work after this one. Q12. What treat is mentioned in the lyrics to one, two, step? Cinnamon rolls, cupcakes, or jello? One, two, step. Where are my music buffs? Yummy. Yes, Sierra had a song called Goodies, but Missy Elliott drops a verse on One Two Step where she mentions shaking it like Jello. Jello. Shake it like Jello, make the boys say hello because they know I'm rocking the baby. I could do it too. Man. 4,954. <laughs> Savage baby. Last chance. Last chance. Question 12. Buy back in. So do the right thing. You want to stick around for that 215. 
thousand dollars. Here we are moving on to Q13 already. Which NBA coach did a Sports Illustrated cover appearing as a fortune teller? Was it Pat Riley, Greg Papovich, or Phil Jackson? Appearing as a fortune teller. Showing a little kooky side of his personality. Who is it but Coach Phil, baby? That's it. That is creepy. You got it. Phil Jackson is the correct answer. 3,535. Another savage. We lost good, almost 6,000 there. Sorry to see you go. Hey, you could buy another extra life for tomorrow's game if you'd like. That's right. Moving on to question 14. $250,000 on the line. Janine Garofalo plays what character in Now and Then? Sci-fi author, comedian, or tarot reader? Janine Garofalo. Funny lady. Funny, funny lady. Gabby Hoffman's character ends up being a sci-fi writer, and Janine is a comedian in real life, but she's the surly waitress, fortune teller, in Now and Then. That's right. She's a tarot reader. 1,907 are moving on to question 15. And remember, it's another prize question, so you have the chance. I get a little emotional to take the money or stick around. <clears throat> Here we go. Q15. What is the name of this first Mario game where Luigi is the solo star? Luigi Time, Mario is Missing, or Luigi's Mansion? They part ways briefly. Luigi is a real second banana to Mario, but he got his own chance to shine first, and Mario is missing. Where'd he go? Oh, man! 320 still in the game. We lost... About 1,500 of you. That's a little savage looking to me. Remember... Get ahead of the game. Here we go. Whew. Let's take a look. Let's see. We're offering $9.47 to 317 players. You're going to take that almost 10 bucks. Not a bad, not a bad investment, 10 bucks. Or are you going to stick around for $215,000? What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? 267 players chose to take $9.47. Congratulations. Three questions. We only have 47 players still in. 47 players fighting for that 215,000. Here we go. Let's refocus. Moving on to question 16. Which of these composers was born most recently? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Frederick Chopin, or Ludwig van Beethoven? Who was born most recently? All right. Mozart was born in 1756. Beethoven, 1770. But Chopin was born in 1810, most recently, 38. String it along, that's right. We, I'm conducting something called Q17 in C major. That C stands for cash, hard cash, $215,000. Q17. The artist once got into a Twitter fight with the New York Times in part over what? This artist. I take a look. Like if you catch me at the border, I go Sales numbers, artistic collaboration, or was it food order? Bribing her, uh, wanting to be. On to question 18. Which of these U.S. presidents spent one of his last days in office riding in an electric vehicle? Was it Benjamin Harrison, William McKinley, or John F. Kennedy? All right. Felled up by an assassin's bullet in 1901 and rushed to the hospital in an electric ambulance was William McKinley. 23 are moving on to Q19. McKinley. Oh, boy. He died eight days later. Did you, four sitting presidents were assassinated. All right, let's take a look. Here we go. We're offering $86.96 to 23 players. That's almost $100. And there's three questions in the next prize. What are you going to do? Are you going to stick around for $215,000? Or are you going to walk away with $86? let us take a look and see 
What happened? 17 players chose to take the 86-96. Congrats! Huh? You're starting off your Saturday great. We only have six players left. Here we go. Six players fighting for $215,000 were on question 19. Which of these royals did not receive their own official Funko Pop figure? Was it Prince George, Duchess Meghan, or Prince William? Did not receive it. Yeah, you know, it's too bad because he would make a hilarious Funko. His little shorts and his adorable expressions. We are talking about who? But Prince George. That teeny cute little prince. One! One person got it correct. We have one person still in the game. One person, chance for $215,000. We're moving on to question 20. We got one left. This is crazy. What planet has a moon that shares a name with a lead actor on Cheers? Neptune, Saturn, or Jupiter? Neptune, Saturn, or Jupiter? Okay. Okay, one of this planet's moons is called Rhea, which is also the name of an actor who played Carla on Cheers. I'm talking about the planet. What? Planet Saturn? Saturn? Oh! Nobody got it. Nobody got it. Uh, Sidetrack was the player left. Uh, you guys, congratulations all the winners. Congrats to all the winners tonight. Congrats to everybody who made it to a new level. Thank you for playing with me. I've been your host, Tyler Fisher. Follow me on all the socials right here. First five, I'll follow you back. Come back tomorrow for Harry Potter trivia. Tomorrow the jackpot is going up to $220,000. What? Can't wait to see somebody take that loot. See you all later. Have a great weekend. Goodbye.